$40. That is pretty much the price point I'm looking for when I am buying a Bluetooth speakers or headphones. Just the right price. Yeah, sure, the sound is not spectacular, but it's good enough. And if it craps out, I don't feel too bad about it. So that's why when I found in the clearance bin for $38, the Eton Ruckus Solar Bluetooth speaker, I was kind of interested here. Now, I've had some Eton products before, not overly thrilled by them. However, this little doodad is my new go-to Bluetooth speaker for the summer. So let's uh, quickly go over it here. So we're talking about something that is about uh, 12 inches long by maybe eight inches. You got uh, these two soda can type speakers. You got uh, your solar panel. You get your buttons for your power Bluetooth auxiliary and your volume, of course. And then in the back, you got a nice little uh, area to slip in uh, your smartphone. You got your wall plug. It does come with a wall charger. Uh, and then you have your input jack. So if you have older devices such as iPods, shuffles, or that kind of stuff, you have a headphone jack plug-in. And then you have the USB out to charge the internal battery. Now they say you can play music off the battery for about eight hours or so. Now they don't give you the real specs that you really care about, which is the internal capacity of the battery and also uh, the power uh, generation features of the solar panel. So some people have been kind of estimating that this is between maybe five and seven watts i'm thinking more five for the solar panel and for the internal battery probably around the 1300 milliamp hour range it's kind of low uh, because most current smartphones are well into the 2000 milliamp hour so i'm not too too i wouldn't get this to rely on the fact that i can charge uh, a cell phone off of that there's way better power banks out there for less or for about the same price that will do a lot more than that but I'm just looking at using the internal battery to play the music which is about eight hours and of course if you're outside at a park picnic table nice sunny day the solar panel will keep the battery topped up and that it does actually quite well I've had this for over two months now and I've only done the initial charge in the house to initially charge up the battery and I've been playing well over 40 hours, if not 50 hours, on that single charge. The solar just keeps the battery topped up. And the sound, you know what? It's not that bad. Now, I've decided to bring this with me for camping. And we basically, well, basically come up with off-the-grid music. So, in the sleeve, I've got a little smartphone here. got an old, old iPhone 3GS but yet one of the few apps you can still get on this is Spotify so if you're a member of Spotify or Amazon music or whatever paid music subscriptions that allows you to download I would say download some playlists put this in airplane mode and now you get yourself a really offline jukebox so I got a few playlists here saved up I got about maybe five six hundred songs we'll put this on airplane mode just hook up to Bluetooth and we'll put slip this behind it and we'll have music for hours. I'm hoping pretty much the whole weekend, depending on the weather wise. So put down in the comments what you think about this Bluetooth speaker. Are there any other similar Bluetooth speakers that might be more interesting? Or other power banks you can get a bang for the buck or your favorite Bluetooth speaker. Now there is a current version of this available brand new around $80, $90, but uh, that being said, I did find this at clearance bin, and that means that if you were to go to some of your overstock stores or some of those overstock websites, you might be able to find this at a better price than I did. So with that, we'll talk to you guys next time.